Repeat after me. The fitness circle is your friend. <laughs> okay, so this might seem like a crazy contraption. Like, is this the thigh master, Moira? Where are you bringing me? <laughs> anyway, the fitness circle is super effective. In fact, I've had clients come in and actually request this. On many occasions, they say, Moira, I feel so fat. Oh my God, help me with the middle, help me with the middle. We're gonna trim the middle today. You guys ready? Okay, grab your fitness ring. You can order one of these on Amazon or through Stop Pilates. I was talking about Stop Pilates yesterday. You're going to put the circle in between the meaty part of the calves. Even if you're super skinny, just find that meaty place. <laughs> now, when you squeeze the circle in between the calves, okay it helps accentuate those core muscles because inner thighs have everything to do with core strength those muscles wrap right in through the pelvic floor just saying but I'm not trying to get too personal here but just know that inner thighs are really important don't ignore the inner thigh <laughs> right. here we go again with our half rollback like we did yesterday but this time we're going to squeeze the ring and curl back inhale up up now i forgot to say with the half roll back, you really want to try to keep your legs still. So squeezing the ring and rolling off through the spine with just by squeezing your stomach in should totally work by squeezing the circle. Squeeze it. So it's inhale up, up. Squeeze. Good. Inhale up, up. Squeeze the ring. Roll halfway back. Inhale up, up. You can do this with the ball in between the knees too, just so you know, no, you know, but it's really more effective with the circle. Circle is like really effective. <laughs> All right, Suzanne Summers is an old actress, by the way, for those younger people. Okay, now you're gonna roll back. What do I got here? What do I got? What do I got? I got your hinging. Okay, so hinging is different than rolling back. Hinging is arms come up in the air because you're squeezing the ring so hard. You're gonna hinge. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. So I'm hinging back, my arms are up, and you are going to hinge and hold. All right, good. Now squeeze your ring and release. Here we go. 10, nine, I wanna see an oval. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, lean back more and pulse it can you lift your feet off the floor oh my god maybe go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Woo! take a little break okay now we are coming up to a really favorite exercise of mine and you're gonna curl back arms are up palms facing each other and you're gonna squeeze and rotate now remember, it's really small, and don't use your arms to get there, use the ribs, all right? So you go center, breathe in, and you twist the other way. Now, when you get to this part, squeeze your ring and get to the oval every time you twist. Yes, so center, breathe in, squeeze that circle, baby, and rotate. Oh my God, you should have eight more, center. Squeeze it harder. Good, inhale, exhale, seven, breathe in, breathe out, six, arms up, you've got this, inhale, exhale, five, every time you exhale, you're gonna pull the stomach in more, four, rotate, squeeze it tighter, three, inhale, exhale, rotate, two, great job, last one, awesome. So all I can say about that is go really slowly when you twist like that, it makes a huge difference, okay? All right, we're gonna to go to tabletop crunches. The circle stays in between the meaty part of the calves. This time, you're gonna lie down flat, nice and supported on that mat, okay? So your legs are in tabletop, which is a 90 degree angle with the knees, hands behind your head elbows wide. You're gonna do the same thing you've done before, but when you curl up, you're gonna squeeze that circle, okay? All right, ready, set, go. One minute, squeeze and lift. It's an exhale. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Exhale, lift. Squeeze that ring as hard as you possibly can. Yep, so you're not bringing knees to chest. You're squeezing the ring. Knees are coming in. Forward, two, one, another. You're 20 seconds in. Breathe in, breathe out. 
This is good stuff, guys. <laughs> and again, this circle just helps you tap into the core strength a little bit more effectively. Props just help you kind of search for those muscles, right? Because sometimes you have to have a lot of body awareness. 20 seconds left, squeeze the ring lift. Good, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, elbows out. Three, squeeze the ring, two, harder. Last one, hold. Bonus, you're gonna pulse those legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, just throwing this in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, raise your legs up to the ceiling. That was probably difficult, right? I hear you. All right, next on the docket, we have something that's very challenging, okay? I wonder if we should just hold it here for a little bit and do bend reverse crunch. Nope, that is not on the list. Okay, this one's on the list. So try it with right here, with just your legs in the air. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the legs. So you're just gonna twist right here, center and twist. So if you're feeling this here, which you probably should, right? It's just legs are straight up in the air and you're rotating and twisting, you can absolutely stay there, okay? Or you could lower the legs halfway like this and then curl up, hands behind your head, elbows wide, now you're gonna twist the legs to the left and you're gonna fold those elbows to the right. All right, you have 10 times, ready? Try to stay curled up, okay, you with me? I hope so. Inhale, center, exhale, 10, breathe in. Nine, eight, seven, good, rotate six, inhale. Exhale, five, chin up. Breathe out, twist four, inhale. Exhale, twist three, inhale. Exhale, twist two, inhale. Last one, and take a little break. Woo, that is really good stuff. That is a really, really hard move. You're doing great. Okay, now we have bend and stretch. And then, let me see. Oh, the ankles teaser, oh boy. All right, okay. So all bend and stretch is, you're gonna put the circle back in between the meaty part of the calves, you're bending the knees to tabletop, and you're stretching, okay? So inhale, bend. Now breathe and launch those legs to the diagonal, which is halfway to the floor. Don't go all the way down on this one. You gotta to try to keep your back on the mat. Did you catch that? <laughs> Bending, inhale. <laughs> Exhale, straighten those legs. Inhale, bend. Just try eight more, stretch and squeeze the ring. You don't have to get to the oval, but just like give it a little hug. Seven, your head is down for this one. Six, unless you wanna curl up. Should we curl up? Five, oh boy. Exhale, four, inhale. Curl up a little more deeply, three, inhale. Curl up when you send those legs out, two. And last one, hold, reach, give me a wave. Grab the ring, awesome job. Okay, now, ring, 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 right? I know. So, let me see. We've done our bend and stretch. We've done the tabletop curl. We did the twist, which is super hard. Ankles, ooh. All right, so we're gonna put it in between the ankles now. So that means you don't have as much of a grip, and we're gonna do reverse crunch, okay? This is like a little break, all right? Just a little break before we do our teaser. Now, let's talk about the teaser. So, the teaser is also known as the V-sit. Okay, so in Pilates, we call it the teaser. I don't really know why. Everything in Pilates is like a stretch, and there's, it's actually really difficult. They call everything stretch. <laughs> but, just saying, when you're at the grocery store and you're standing in line, and you look over at these like wellness, you know, healthy living magazines, whatever, shape and women's health women's fitness and things like that all you and you see like oh try the v-sit try the v-sit you think like oh i could do that you look at someone doing it you're like yeah i could do that well it's really hard just so you know so we're going to try it here just do the best you can and if you can't just do the reverse crunch like this come right back to it so my arms are going to be out um behind me okay there's so many different ways to do this you can actually start in tabletop 
and then you just do a big sit up and you kick your legs to the diagonal. So give yourself a little momentum when you come, okay? Come down, come down this way. You gotta inhale, exhale. Remember, you're gonna kick it out and lift it up. That's your V sit. Can you see me? Whoa. <laughs> That's your V sit, right like that. Now, pull your stomach in, you're gonna roll all the way back down. Arms are on the mat right at the same time as my legs hit tabletop. So let's try the progression here. You can come back up like this and just try to kind of lift as much as you can. I'm using my arm, but that's okay. All right, and then you can kind of stretch your legs like this. Exhale, exhale, or just give yourself a little momentum. You're gonna exhale when you lift up and make your, your body's a big V. Can you see me? Right like that, chin up, hold it, squeeze your stomach as much as you can. Good, now pull your stomach in as you roll back down, bend the knees to tabletop, arms back behind your head. Now, you can also do a V-sit with long arm, long legs, and it looks like this. You come up and down. Let's do three more there. Woo, three, it's like a big setup. Exhale, two, and last one. Okay, so that is your V-sit teaser position. I know, it's pretty challenging. <laughs> now, we are gonna do, um, let me see, spine twist, and then a super, kind of a bonus, we are, th I'm throwing in something, I'm calling it super girl, but it's with the circle, it feels so good. So put the handle right underneath your chest on the drag bra, spine twist, and you're just gonna rotate side to side. Now technically, you're gonna exhale. I'm trying to get, help you guys like take a little break after the teaser. All right, now, you technically go each way three little pulses with a little breath, all right? So it's inhale center, exhale three, two, one the other way. So it kind of prevents you from rotating too much side to side because you wanna make the movement come from the ribs. Okay, so just try a couple more times. You're gonna twist one, two, three, inhale center, and three, two, one. Okay, I hope you're still with me. You ready? This is your reward. You're going to lie down on your stomach and you're going to reach up to the ring. This feels awesome. So the handle is on the mat. My, both my hands are going to press on the top handle. My legs stay down. Okay, so here we go. Can you see that ring? So I am going to keep my legs heavy and bring my head all the way down to the floor. So you're going to press your hands on the handle as you lift your chest up. Feels so good. Let's just try five of them. Release, press to lengthen and lift. Inhale, exhale, press to lengthen and lift. And I'm looking at you guys just to make sure you, you know, hopefully you can see, but you should actually be looking right at your hands. See? Good. Three more, press to lift. Breathe in, breathe out two. And then last one, you press your lift hold, and you can just stay here as long as you want, right? I have to stop the video now. <laughs> but it's just, it's a great extension to stretch through the lats and just to release any tension in the neck and shoulders. Great job, guys. Remember, the fitness circle is your friend. Bye now.